Hello everyone and welcome to Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe. Now, I just wanted to play this game because it's a way for me to relax and I didn't want to worry about the stress of, you know, Battlefield or any other kind of game or I just I just wanted to play a game and just show you something different because yeah, this is a very different game. You'll instantly notice how old it is. It is very old. Um, this is the open source version so you can actually download it for free so just google o OTTD and uh, you'll find uh, find everything and I am aware Yogscast have done a video on this a while ago I watched a bit of it uh, but I've been playing this for quite a long time it is a very good game I played it when it was Transport Tycoon and then when it Deluxe came out we also got that and now it's open Transport Tycoon Deluxe and it's you're always adding new things so it's a great game and I just want to relax and show you how I play this game and just chill for a bit because I don't want to worry about other crap so let me just create a new game everything else is fine to be honest uh, these are the settings I've, I've just set up previously uh, we're gonna play on a temperate climate which is just this normal one and I've turned competitors off because they just get in the way and they're a pain and they don't know how to play at all and you can get the really complicated AI that do all the fancy stuff but they're just getting in the way and I don't want them to get in the way I just want to play a game my way without enemies enemies without competitors trying to you know buy me out or anything so I'm just gonna generate this new map and just check something right away because this didn't work last time I tried good so I've got everything okay, yay because uh, last time I recorded this this is my second attempt it uh, kind of failed so what I like to do when I start out is I like to find three towns that are close together and r roughly big-ish um, so 800, three, no they're too small, the 800 around what we're looking for because they will grow like hell so there's 500, 100, 300 okay these are these are ideal, these are fine, so we've got a 1000 a 700, where's my mouse cursor, there it is a uh, 700 and a 500, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually first I am going to change my colour scheme to blue ah, uh, there we go and I'm just going to, you know, change my face Yeah, uh, why not? <laughs> uh, let's just leave the rest as it is. I can't be bothered for renaming it. So I'm just going to put my HQ. Oh, I'm just going to slap it there. I oh, know there's buildings there. Okay, I thought that was just a tree. Uh, let's just slap it. No, nope, that's buildings. It's no, that. Oh, uh, it's because I'm paused. Oops. <laughs> so let's just slap it there. Okay, good. So you get parks that kind of look like that. See, see, there's a park. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start off by connecting. I'll connect that up later, but it's a tiny village, and you don't want to connect those up. So I'm just going to connect up all these three, just to start me off, so I can get some sort of income. And I'm not going to get income by connecting them. You can see, look, I'm losing money. <coughs> Oh, I apologise. My voice is a bit hoarse. I haven't done this in a while. I need to get used to doing commentaries again. And so let me just build these depots. And these are where the buses are going to come out of. So next, build our bus stations. So this is the highlight area. So I can take passengers wherever I put this. If I want to take goods, see I can't pick up oil or iron ore there. I have to go to lorry stations. They can pick up oil. They can pick up steel and whatnot. But at the moment we want this so let's put our bus station there and let's put a bus station there turn that off and we can put a bus station there and now we spend more money so I create a new vehicle where's my bus there we go I've got a bus at bottom so I'm just gonna give it orders oh clicked on the wrong one so 
I'm telling him to basically go to there and then go to there and then go to there and he'll just keep going round and round and round but I'm not done I'm gonna clone him twice and I'm gonna set him to start there and set him to start there so hopefully these will all go in a nice circular pattern earn me money each time they go around the thing is though when you start uh, buses and things they, they instantly just move on you'll see this guy he was, he's just gonna move straight on see he didn't pick anyone up he just moved straight on and then that's how it is because I didn't tell him to full load but I don't want them to they'll just they'll be fine on their own they'll just keep going around and later on I'll get more passengers coming in and this place will grow and then I'll have to make more buses and eventually upgrade and make a train system going between the three and stuff but uh, for now the buses will, will be fine they'll get me some sort of income the next step is where people go what the hell are you doing um, it gets a little bit complicated and I keep moving at the way um, so I'm gonna open up my loan and you can see I don't have that much money and my maximum loan is uh, half a million so let's just borrow lots and lots of money because I'm gonna need lots and lots of money to uh, do this so my current balance is nearly 400k which is uh, perfectly fine so I like to own the coal industry right at the beginning so I'm gonna find a power station right near the edge of the map and uh, there's one there's two there actually wow but I don't want that uh, let's check the other side one down here is the most suited because there's just a bit of space so I'm just gonna do it here why not so let me go into my railway now this is how I start my games like I said this is how I get a lot of money um, so just trust me on this and uh, we'll see how it goes so I'm gonna have a platform length of what seven and let's have four to begin with I can always add more later if I want to so let me put that there so that is the main hub and now I'll, I always make mistakes I'm just gonna do this do it this way I'm going to build up my station like this and many people may find this weird I hate trees don't care about all you hippies in this game trees are annoying so what I'm creating is something called a row row station which stands for roll in roll out station and what I've got here I could technically make this into another station and I see no reason why not to but it's going to act as a waiting kind of area for trains that can't get in but I'm not going to need that for a very long time so at the moment I'm just going to pop this there pop that like there bloody trees did I there we go and now we put our depot there so you can kind of see where I'm coming from trains come in they get they do whatever they want they unload and then they go out uh, and then of course they can turn around if they want to they can wait here but now is where damn trees so this is where people kind of go wrong lots of people make one station and then have another station and then they transport all their coal like just like that from close distances and it's just ridiculous you, you, I don't play like that at all I play uh, very methodically and properly so I'm just gonna set this up with signs now oops I made the wrong one just convert that to there uh, these are signals basically the way these work is oh that's the wrong way um, okay so a trains gonna come in if this is green it means the path ahead is clear and the train can go as you know if it's red it means the path ahead is not clear it's got a train inside it between uh, somewhere in here between these signs between these signals there's a train on this track so it'll be red uh, if it's green that means you know there's a train in there there's a train in there there's no train in there sorry or whatever 
oh, this is hard to explain. Basically, if this is green, this area is free. And of course, if that's green, that area is free. So if this is green, and that's green, but that's red, and that's red, and that's red, and that's red, that means they're all taken. But this one, the train will come in, see that this is green, say, OK. And then see that this is green, and say, OK, that's free, I'm going to go in there. And then it'll dock. It'll dock, it'll park, it'll, it'll station, whatever. I'm, it's too late, it's nearly midnight. <laughs> Leave me alone. Um, but anyways, yeah, you can you can see how this works. So it comes in, it goes out, and then I've got, you know, two. Uh, I've got an in and out basically. So trains always travel in one direction uh, only. So that's how you are supposed to play this game. And let's hope uh, people can learn from this. Now we need to find a good place to make our first. Uh, station so I usually travel across the map and I've got plenty of fun to do, to do this so let's just yeah let's just go straight ahead as far as we can I actually want to go this way a bit first though but there are damn trees where's my uh, transparency options there we go And so, nyom. Ah, okay. This is going to be expensive. Oh my god, so expensive. Just to make a land bridge. I could have gone back, to be honest, but fuck it. <laughs> but yeah, the further the cargo has to travel from its origin is, you know, the more money you will make. So, that's actually not <laughs> quite a good setup. You can get passengers and a coal from there. So I'm going to travel this way, head up that way. There we go, it's a bit expensive, but ah well. Uh, when you go up hills it slows trains down and stuff, so you want to do that as little as possible. But here I've got no choice but to go up. I could make a tunnel, but at this point in the game it's just too expensive. But I can only go up so much, so at this point I'm thinking, yeah, that's a bit ridiculous for me to uh, go up, so I'm just going to level it out. Costs quite a bit of money. But as you can see, I've got loads, and I can still take 100,000 more out if I wanted to. And now I'm going to have to avoid this. This is a bit hilly for uh, me. It's usually a lot flatter. And because this is open transport tycoon, you can build on slopes, so I don't have to make the whole thing level. I can just do that. But now that's in my way. And what are all these masts doing here? That is ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to find. I've not gone that far, to be honest, so I'll find a coal station. Let's go to that one. Let's just see how much it produces, though. 96, is that it? Oh my god. Let's find a different one does that one produce? 80, that's even worse. Hundred and forty four, okay, so let's try and make it to there. Oh that's all all the way across the map. <laughs> anyway, so uh let's create our end end of line terminal. So we'll want two tracks for this because it is gonna be just a diversion, so to speak. So we'll just leave it at seven and plonk that we could get oil from this later but these will close down in a while because oil rigs don't last forever so I'll just carry on with the coal industry for now I'm gonna put my station there I know it looks overkill but you know now the reason why this station is ideal is because it's got an in and out and having this it means they can swap over uh, it doesn't work if you have a lot of traffic so I'm just going to pop my depot there and then I'll pop my signs there so if you have multiple trains trying to get in this will jam up so don't use it if you have more than like I don't know uh, if, you, if you're expecting this to get a lot of traffic I'm just expecting this to have two trains uh, or maybe three at the most but at one time there's only going to be one train uh, two at the most sitting in here so uh, yeah now we're gonna try and connect this up but we can't cross the water because bridges are expensive and so are land bridges 
So we can cross maybe up. We can actually make a bri a, la a bridge to go across that way. Um, it's it might work out cheaper than going all the way around. So let's position this just right. And go down one more. Okay. That all have to do. All right then. So now we raise the land outwards about there. Uh, we we'll always say yes. Now hopefully I've done <laughs> this right. So let's make a bridge there to there yep and then we make a bridge from there to there go away okay so we've crossed the water now we just need to connect these up where are they? So we've got a long way to travel. sometimes and let's just go over the hill and far away Ooh, running out of money okay so I was out by quite a bit Now let's take our track back. Okay, so it's connected up. The next thing to do is to create the signals so we know which way the train's going. So this is going in. So now we need to make sure like no trains crash into each other when they're going that way. So I'm just going to put the signals and make sure they're going to be nice and spaced apart. Go. I hope I'll have enough to buy the actual train. There we go. So now we can hopefully not go bankrupt and we create our train, use the best one we can and we fill up uh, let's create this to be six long six blocks, tell it to go to there, and now this is the important bit tell it to full load, otherwise it will just get there and go straight away and now we tell it to go to there so what it's going to do is it's going to get to this uh, coal station and fill up on coal as much as it can. Well, it's going to full load those six trailers full of coal. It's going to take quite some time because that is a lot of coal. And then it's going to turn around, it's going to cross here and then go all the way back the route we've just came. And because there's no other trains, you don't have to actually worry about a train crash. But later on, when all these trains are going, you know, these signs are the only thing that are stopping them from crashing into each other. So, um,. This is how you build like train tracks properly. You always have one going one way, one going the other. Of course, you can have your own separate system, uh, but this is how I do it. How I, you know, how I kind of taught myself to do it. Um, I, I kind of I've read some articles, but there's not a lot of 
uh, what, what's it called? There's not a lot of documentation on this. There's not a lot of tutorials or anything. So basically, yeah, I've worked this out uh, through much experimentation. You know, I, I used to do from point to point, so like from that coal mine to there, and then I'd have a separate train track from whatever coal mine to another power station, and it just it's not efficient at all. You're just wasting like resources and and stuff. You just don't make a profit. So let's. Just uh, speed up a bit. Actually, no, we'll keep that waiting there, and then we can sort out our lorries down here because we can actually transport this there 90 tons. That's not bad, that's enough for the lorries to pick up. So, if we go to our road construction, create a lorry station, let's create two of them, and then we shall create more, let's create three there. This tool is awkward sometimes. And now we create a bridge that goes across. There we go. And of course, a depot. And let's not forget to connect this up to the bridge. <laughs> I've done that once. I've left it, and all these lorries were just coming, get, getting up to with the bridge and turning around because I forgot to connect it. Uh, you don't need to worry about signs. Lorries drive on the right side. Well, they drive on the left, uh, but they drive on the right. You know because it's right. They drive on the left because it's right. Okay, uh, that's that's just the end of it. It's correct to drive on the left. That's what I mean. Uh, so let's create our coal trucks. These are just the really basic ones. Um, they're not great to there and we always say full load and that should just be unload and if there's anything there you know no loading just unload and leave empty so let's tell you to go and we shall clone you and also tell you to go and close you so we want to make sure we're not wasting any coal and our trains full up so we'll be able to see it when it comes down but it's going to take quite a long time because it's got 512 blocks to cover or, or technically more because we've swerved in and out you know so I'm just going to clone that so what we want is a constant stream of trucks picking up coal from there so once this gets to about 100 I'll release uh, this one okay that was a bit too much speed up time <laughs> I couldn't keep up at all. So um, as you can see there's a bit too much coal and I've actually transported 77% so that's not bad. Um, maybe one more truck should be able to uh, do it. So that should be alright. Now how far away is the train? You can see it's, it's slowing down and it goes up and down um, hills and that's why I wanted to avoid them and later on it won't matter so much later on uh, because trains go so fast they just have so much momentum they'll get up these hills with no problem whatsoever um, but at, at the beginning when they're powered by diesel or steam then you know you, you've got a, a pretty bad problem <laughs> so it should be alright for a while but I'm down to 16 grand and that's what we wanted we'll replace this with the floss when it gets us, when it gives us some money just wait at the uh, thing for it. Speed up time a bit. Okay, it's getting pretty close. Here it comes. Okay. So we've got coal trucks making us money. Our money's actually going up. So let's see how much this makes us. Let's give it time to unload. See, that made us 83,000 from going one into the other, and our trucks only make us like a couple of hundred. Look, 422. Um, even though that's carrying a lot more, because it's gone the distance, it creates a lot more uh, profit. So what we can do with that now is, because the coal mine is still dumping stuff there, and we don't want stuff to be waiting there, it'll just go to wait. So I'm going to clone the train and get it to pick up this stuff before it gets back so I've got two constantly going and picking each other up but I couldn't do that earlier because I didn't have enough money because I hadn't done that initial train run so um, that's how you 
train. How to train. <laughs> I think that'll be the first uh, episode name. How to train. We could, technically. How much is left? 248. Wow. And it's got a lot of ground to cover. So I'm going to clone it once more. So I've got three trains now. They're constantly going. And that should be enough for now. So, um... Yeah, that's all there is to starting off a game. Um, later on, I'll show you how how I link stuff in. Like, I'll need to link this in. That produces quite a lot of coal. And then, of course, how I link stuff in over here and how I link other industries into this one main line that goes right down the middle of the map because we want this to have a split here or something that goes off left and goes off right. And then we can have splits that go off up and down. And, you know, there'll be splits all over the place. It'll be redonkulous. But, but just before I leave... I am going to check on where's my uh my bus routes there they are so these should have quite a few passengers now see loads so what I'm going to do is just clone these vehicles a lot so go and you can skip to there and skip to there and you can just go and look our house has a, uh, a little fence now because we've made some money um, now there is a problem of our loan because yeah we're paying interest of seven I don't know, is that yeah, we're paying interest of seven thousand. Um so we don't we, we want to get rid of that as much as we can, so we'll just repay ten thousand. And little by little we will, you know, chip away at that loan. Uh hopefully the next train should be getting there soon. Or not. He's still Where is the next train? Oh there you are, okay. So that's still got quite some time to go before it gets to this coal mine but yeah 141 tons is not enough to fill it so it's going to build up let's see how much we transported it's 56 wow okay it's because it, we were using it it's gone up so we can't clone a train so we're just gonna have to wait for profit to come up and then and that's it so uh, i'll see you again soon uh, maybe i'll play some more tomorrow night so uh, i hope you've liked this game um just Google OTTD and you should come across how to get it. It's free, it's fun, and I like it. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, take care, guys.